What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and today we're at it again with another video. Today we're here to talk about the pause music addition to Motion Sense. Now this Motion Sense update is part of the March system update for the Pixel 4. So you'll want to check for the update if you haven't received it yet. So the question is, what is Motion Sense? Motion Sense is a series of futuristic air gestures available on the Pixel 4 devices. Motion Sense gives users air gesture music playback controls and air swipe gestures to snooze alarms and silence calls. In today's video, we will demonstrate how to enable the new feature and demo it. So all things said, let's go ahead and get into it. So we'll start by pulling down on the notification twice. Now at the bottom of the notification shade, you're gonna see a gear icon. We're gonna tap on that. Then we're gonna go ahead and scroll down to system and then we're gonna tap on that. Now we've got several options here. We're gonna look for motion sense and tap on that. Now this is where all our motion sense options will be located. Now this video is all about the pause music addition to motion sense and we have pause music here. So we're gonna tap on that feature. Now this next page just gives us a little bit more information about the pause music feature and to enable it we have a slider here. If we tap on the slider it's going to turn blue and now the feature is enabled. So let's go ahead and give it a try. So let's talk more about this. In my experience with Motion Sense, I find that it works great in multitasking. Basically, this is when you're in split screen and you're using two apps and you don't want to open up the music app. So you can use the Motion Sense features to do playback controls while in those two apps. So multitasking actually becomes doing three things at once. Motion Sense also works great in situations where you want to be hands-free. These can be situations like cooking, in the shower or when driving. Now Motion Sense isn't without its problems. First things first, it's got a learning curve. So you have to learn how high to swipe, how fast you're swiping, you have to practice the tap controls. It's gonna take a little bit of time investment. Now if you don't get down to learning, you're gonna have other problems. First, inputs won't always register. Second, Motion Sense might stop working altogether if you're getting frustrated because it's not responding to you. And then you start overloading the system with air gestures. And I think it just makes it freeze. It just makes it quit. It just overloads it. So my final thoughts is I am really a big fan of Motion Sense. It works great for me in hands-free situations. Now what's even more important is the possibility of Motion Sense. This can be an accessibility feature for anyone who has a handicap. With that being said, Motion Sense has promise and potential and I'm hoping more features will be added over time just to get the word out about this technology so we can get it into more devices. So that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed and found it useful, please leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, as always drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now there are three ways to support the channel. The first way is to click on the Amazon storefront link found in the description below. There you'll find items that I have bought or I would like to buy and anything that you do buy from the storefront does support the channel. The next way to support the channel is just by sharing this video with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way to support the channel is just by clicking that subscribe button. Now liking and subscribing are important. Those are your ways to vote on whether you like the video or the channel. Liking and subscribing are also important for new viewers. When new viewers see likes and subscribers, they think that the videos are helpful and the channel is worth watching. So that is pretty much it. And until next time, Leon checking out.